Aloha. I'm Marcia Joyner, and this is Cannabis Chronicles. And we are honored to co-host the film, Weed the People, with Senator Mike Gabbard and the Hawaii Hellness Center. And the film is Weed the People, and it is a documentary film, and it will show at the Hawaii State Capitol Auditorium and at 7 p.m. Let me tell you, well, let's show the trailer. It and the trailer and the movie are um, a gift to us from Ricky Lake and Phil and the company to show so that we learn about the horrors that these little children went through and what their families had to go to get cannabis for their healing. So let's take a look. They found over 20 tumors in his chest. They said your daughter will not live to see her second birthday. When your kid's got cancer, the rule book goes out the window, really. I wouldn't feel right if I didn't explore everything that there was. When we found out about Sophie's brain tumor, I had no idea this would be the gift from God to her. Would you let a first or second grader or any child use medical marijuana? It's the same as every other drug. There are chemical compounds in the plant that interact with the cells in our bodies and have certain reactions. The different ways that cannabis and cannabinoids seem to suppress cancer is quite impressive. It's life and death. As a mom myself, I would do it in a heartbeat knowing what I know. The federal government is telling us there's not enough research on cannabis to deschedule it from Schedule 1, and then they're saying you can't do research because it's Schedule 1. In 1937, the American Medical Association told Congress you should not ban this substance because there's things that we are already using this for that we don't have substitutes for. He'd have to have Dilaudid to manage the pain, and that had created an opiate dependency, so they put him onto methadone. Because as it originates from our pharmaceutical industry, it's accepted by society. I started reading about the anti-tumor properties of cannabis oil. It's all about supporting the side effects and helping the chemo to do its job. One of the main reasons I want it legal is so that we can start having standards and not have it be the Wild West. We're in uncharted waters. We're lab rats. There's enough research for me to know, one, it happens to be a very safe medication, and two, it works. Oh my god, that's where the cyst used to be. <laughs> it's working. I just find it staggering to accept that the billions of dollars that are spent on cancer research, that the medicine that we were relying on is made in somebody's kitchen. Oh, that's gorgeous. The whole drug policy reform issue is a human rights issue at its core. Why, as a society, are we denying people the use of something that I have seen over and over and over again be helpful? What kind of medicine are we giving her? Marcia, and we do invite you to see the film. It's a must-see. You will love it. You will cry. You will cheer. Please join us at the Hawaii State Capitol on the 11th at 7 p.m., and it is open to the public. It is free. Parking is free. So join us, won't you? Thank you so much. Aloha.